Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a new vlog. How's everyone feeling? How are we do? Are we in a good mood today? Are we in a bad mood today? Are we feeling good? Are we feeling not good? I'm feeling pretty good today, which I'm happy about. I fake tanned last night. God, why does it look so extreme before you've washed it off? It's the hands. The hands always look like ugh. Like why? Why is that? Like they're also the same colour, or are they a bit dark? They're a bit darker actually, aren't they? Why is that? Because I moisturise my hands as well, so it won't stick. But Ugh. I fake tanned last night because the past maybe like two weeks I haven't properly fake tanned. I've just kind of been doing a bit of patchwork and just kind of filling in the gaps. But last night I was like, so if you look a mess, you need to sort this out. So I scrubbed it off. And I redid it. And it's Monday today. It's a new week. It's not Monday for you. So I don't know why I say that because I think that just confuses you. But yeah, okay. So what have we, what have we missed? What have we got to catch up on? Oh, I finished Normal People. Absolutely in love with Connell, to be honest. Just want to go to Dublin and just find him. Is it even in Dublin? It's not, is it? Want to go to Ireland and just find him and just marry him. Um, loved that. I think if you're gonna watch it, stick with it. Cause my mum told one of her friends to watch it and she was like, oh no, I just can't watch it. It was just all, we've got, we just don't see all of that because there are some racy scenes. But I think like I was in the beginning a little bit skeptical, like what the fuck is this? But if you just stick with it, I'm gonna say get through the first two and then you'll be like, oh my God, you just, it's just, yeah, it all comes together. So BBC iPlayer, definitely watch that. Me and mum started watching The Nest last night was that on bbc iplayer it was on an iplayer it was on some sort of catch-up channel then there's five episodes i think it's like what lengths is this couple willing to go to to have a baby and i think it's like yeah i think there's some shit that kicks off in that so that should be good we started watching that last night um what else have we been doing when did i last vlog oh i Bought some cute things from Monkey recently, so I will show you guys that today. Oh, and I actually ordered some bits from ASOS last night, which are actually coming today. So I'll show you guys that. Not much, but I got some cute little little things, so I'll show you guys those. And oh, we're baking! We're baking today. We're So basically we're doing what Chintzia did for Lydia. So I've made Chintzia a little box of like ingredients with instructions and I've gave it to her obviously like social distance and she's done a box of ingredients for me and I've got it at my house and she sent me the instructions so we basically the whole thing is that we don't know what we're making and then we make it and we're like oh that's what it was and you guys don't know what we're making either so it's like we've got to figure out what we're making I have got a good idea about what it is that I'm baking because there's quite an obvious ingredient in there which I feel like I'm like right okay so that gives quite a lot away about the flavour um i've actually already opened one of the things she gave me because i just couldn't resist so yeah we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna do that today and that is about it ladies and gents so i'm gonna get up oh, what time is it finn has gone on a walk oh today right okay so today i'm finally gonna get him back into exercise because you guys probably know this i hurt my back I feel like such an old lady. I hurt my back like two weeks ago now um, doing a workout, I think. It was really bad. Like there was some days where I literally like was struggling to move. So my mum was like, right, you need to not exercise for two weeks. Like just let, just rest, like just chill out. Um, and then today, I think my two weeks was up maybe on Friday and it's now Monday. So my back's feeling good. It's still like a bit, mm, but it's feeling good so I feel like I want to get back into like do a bit of a workout today and that is about it oh the hair the hair is just pink really isn't it I don't know what I was on about in the last video like what color is it I was editing it like it's obviously pink Sophia like are you blind but it's pretty much gone um, I've literally washed it once and this was supposed to last longer than the pink so I don't agree with that but um loads of you have sent me i'm gonna do the awkward peach because loads of you have sent me pictures of yourself having done the awkward peach and it's a beautiful orange color so i'm gonna order awkward peach today do awkward peach when this washes out and then oh i'm also gonna order some new makeup today 
just quite unlike me. I don't really buy makeup very often. You guys know I've been using the same products over and over again for like the past four years. So I'm gonna buy some new makeup today because I'm kind of at that point in my makeup bag where I'm just kind of like low on everything. And I wanna try some new makeup, which is something that I never do. I'm not really into that whole world, but I'm gonna get into it. I actually wanna go on like Kylie Cosmetics and get like a nice blush like quad thing i need a new foundation i yeah my main things that i want to get really is just a new foundation oh a new baking powder and some blushes because i'm really into blush right now so i want to get some blushes um so yeah that's it i'm gonna get up i'm gonna have some breakfast and then we'll reconvene I'm just eating my breakfast and watching Friends. Can anyone name this episode? It's a bit quiet. You know, you really should see someone about that. Noted. Name this episode, folks. I want to go talk to Rachel for a minute. Are you going to be okay? Or hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. Yay. Still in lockdown, what day? It's Monday today, which is good. I had a good weekend. I chilled, went on lots of walks. Um, and that's about it. This morning, I woke up. First, why do I always fake tan the morning before a. No, I always fake tan the night before a vlog. I don't know why, it's just how it's been working out. And I was looking crazy this morning, and I was green, and then I had to do a workout, and then green, like fake tan was like dripping down my face. and. It was just horrid, so I did a workout, I showered, I got some new jewellery, which I love. It's all from the same brand called Past Midnight, Past, let me double check this, Past Midnight Us. That's their handle on Instagram, Past Midnight Us. And I got this necklace, the earrings, and the bracelet. I just, I'm so obsessed because I needed some new jewellery, and these are like the perfect bits of new hoops i've been wearing the same hoops for like, like forever um also i made a mistake on the film with my fake tan i don't know what happened there because this thumb is fine also last night um me and lewis finished watching this thing on netflix called hollywood it was so good there was only seven episodes and it was just fantastic like i loved every second of it so i recommend you watch that it's about it's set in um the 50s or the 40s i think all the yeah the 50s or the 60s after the war in hollywood um about like some people trying to make it as like actors and stuff in like movies it was really good really enjoyed it um and i tried to get into suits I just was missing the action I was just like what I just didn't see where it was gonna go I think I've watched two episodes I need to persevere but I was just kind of like I wasn't amazed I I enjoyed it but I'm not like oh, with power I was like and I, I want to watch more and then I tried to watch prison break and I watched the first episode of that but even then I was like was this filmed in like 1997 or something because that's what it looked like um but I'm gonna pop some makeup on and then we are going to get to baking. Sophia has sent me a baking care package and I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited for that. I wanted to show you guys my favourite perfume because I've just put this hoodie on. And last time I put this hoodie on I sprayed the perfume and I put it on and I was like, wow. And it just reminded me how good it was. So I think I spoke about this before, but it's Glossier You. Right. If anyone's looking for a summer fragrance, this it is the best fragrance ever. And whenever I wear it, I always get compliments on it. Everyone's always like, oh my God, what is that smell? And I'm like, it's Glossier. My mum had it on the other day and she came into my room and I was like, oh my God, what are you wearing? And she was like, it's Glossier. And I was like, fuck, like it's the perfume. Honestly, best perfume ever. I wore it like the whole of last year and literally like maybe two weeks ago, I rediscovered it. My granny got me a new bottle for Christmas and I've just opened it and I'm like, wow, I forgot how good it was. Another really nice perfume is Machino. This is Toy 2. This is also a really nice summer fragrance. But I will say the difference between this and the Glossier one, the Glossier one sticks to you a bit more, if that makes sense. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is absolutely incredible. I will definitely buy this when this one runs out, which it's going to be quite a while. But that is 
gorgeous such a nice summer fragrance but the glossier one just really sticks to you like i put this on and i haven't worn this in a couple of days and the perfume's still on it so i will say that favorite perfume i was looking for a new perfume i also saw a um i've been on a bit of a pinterest mission pinterest is my favorite thing all my boards are private though i know lots of you are like make your boards public but i'm like oh but they're my little boards like what if everyone judges my boards? I'm kind of scared to let them go public, but I found some good quotes, so I'm gonna share them with you. So one I found was, don't let anyone rent space in your head unless they're a good tenant. And that really spoke to me. I was like, wow, okay. Another one, don't measure your progress using someone else's ruler. I thought that was incredible. That spoke volumes to me. Um, and where was my other one that I found that I was like, wow, these are just made for me. Um, Damn. Okay, I can't find it. Maybe I didn't pin it. Maybe I just screenshot. Um, but yeah, maybe I will make... Okay, what I'll do is I will make my thoughts board on Pinterest public because I feel like I do find some good quotes. Righty, makeup's on and it is baking time. So I've opened the box from what Soph gave me and these are the ingredients. Now, my initial thought was that we were making jam tops. I've not read the instructions. But my initial thought at the glance was, okay, I think we're making jam tarts. I had expressed to Sophia prior that I really wanted to make cornflake tarts or that I saw a cornflake tart recipe and I was interested in the thought of making cornflake tarts. So I, I thought it was going to be that when I saw the jam, but there was no cornflake. So I thought, okay, no. Then I thought, oh, jam tarts. But then after that FaceTime, she said, no, not jam tarts. So, I'm really unsure. So let's read the instructions and see what kind of, oh, you're on, you're on sesame seeds. That is not the best lighting. Okay, it's baking time, bitches. I don't know what I'm making. I've got the instructions and I've got the ingredients, but I do have a bit of an idea about the main ingredient because, well, I will show you. So, here's what we're gonna be working with. We have, Lotus Biscoff Biscuits. Oh, could you get the sweater actually as well? Where's that? Which are my fav one of my favourites. Oh my God, and white chocolate, another favourite of mine. White chocolate is my favourite chocolate. And she also gave wow. us this. This is my, I've already opened it. This is my favourite spread. I could literally eat the whole jar of this. It's Sophia's weakness, isn't it? Yeah, I could literally eat the whole jar but not in one go a across a weekend i could absolutely eat that whole thing so i did quite well just to have like a couple of spoons yeah so my favorite flavors here i'm feeling good but i'm also like where's the rest of the ingredients oh there's the this yeah is the, the cream stuff. cheese in the fridge there's cream cheese so i don't really know what this is cream cheese biscuits spread and chocolate well, I would say a cheesecakey thing because you've got your broken biscuits at the bottom, mix, 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 and the topping. But there's yeah, no flour. Because it's not a cake, there's no flour. Well, have you got um, a recipe? Yeah, she sent me the ingredient, I mean, the instructions. The recipe, yes, yeah, so. Method. But it looks simple. I like this, it looks pretty manageable. Funny. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. Did you like it? I want some? to be involved. We're leaving you oh, out. I'm sorry, Bonnie. Look, I've got this. I've got this. Can you take it in the garden? Right, so Fiona's guess is a cheesecake. My guess is... Bunny? No. Yeah, I mean soft cheese. Kind of must be a cheesecake, right? Oh no, maybe cheesecake. I haven't made cheesecake. Me and Chintzy made a cheesecake before and it went awful, but... So, let's crack on. It's nearly midday, so I feel like it's an appropriate time now to start baking. Um, hello. Right, got the ingredients. It's baking time. Okay, crush lotus biscuits. Sorry, that's my way of ending the dish. <laughs> crush lotus biscuits until fine. The whole pack. Right. Yeah, there. I know, I'm gonna push the whole pack. Right. No, she's trying to steal the chocolate. Get down, Bonnie. The vlog's watching you, they're gonna tell you off. Come on, down. Whoa! I would just love to dip all of those in too. Okay, biscuits are in the bag and we're gonna pound them. Woo! This feels good. I feel like this is definitely gonna be some sort of cheesecake base. It's got to be, hasn't it? Because until they're fine, so I've really gotta get in here. I'm excited. 
excited to eat this. My favourite flavours. I'm excited for you to see what I got for Chintzia because I don't think she's going to know what it is. No, once she's made it, obviously she'll know what it is, but I don't think she'll be able to guess. I think she's going to think it's like a Victoria sponge or something, but I just thought it was something different. It's more of a biscuit and I thought it was something different because my granny actually made me them, well, made them for my granddad last week and she gave me one and I was like, oh my God, these are amazing. And I was like, hmm, I'm going to get Chintzy to make this. So I think she'll really like them. Okay, open me. I didn't have a pen and paper for Soph, so I had to do it on my iPad. How do I do this? How do I open it? Okay, heat, okay, happy baking. Heat oven to 180 and line two baking trays with parchment, pa parchment paper biscuits, right? Is this some sort of biscuit? Right, 180. Okay. Then, butter, 200 grams, ice and sugar, 50. In a bowl, whisk until light and fluffy. Add vanilla, stir in flour, corn flour, baking powder until combined. Should be tacky. Tacky. Spoon dough onto tray small blobs bake for 10 to 12 minutes then cool part two open for instructions this is very complex okay part two so we're making some sort of biscuit and then part two is butter and icing sugar yeah so making butter icing add vanilla extract and beet and then sample what biscuits have called turn them over so flat side is facing up I know exactly. Viennese Wells! Viennese Wells. Do you know what? Lydia is a genius because I said to Lydia, I think it's jumped hard. So she said, Are you sure it's not Viennese Wells? I was like, No, there's no way. That would have been too complex. <gasps> this is so fun. Okay, so we're doing biscuits and then we're making the icing and putting the jam in. Okay, let's get cracking. Okay, these are looking pretty fine now is the next instruction add 60 grams of cream cheese and 40 grams of biscoff spread to the biscuit crumbs this has got to be a cheesecake right it's got to be a cheesecake it's together until fully combined oh no oh my god it's not a cheesecake okay i won't read too far ahead right they look good to me don't they that is definitely fine crumbs they look good. There's, there's a few bigger lumps in there, but is that does that matter? Cream cheese is such a weird thing. Like, I never used to eat cream cheese until very recently. Um, and even now, like, I don't really... I've never actually had normal, like, cream cheese. I've only ever had, like, a, a vegan cream cheese. It was never something that we, like, had in our, like, household cupboards. So I've never actually had normal cream cheese. But the Kite Hill cream cheese is just the best, isn't it? I remember there used to be a girl at school who would always have cream cheese sandwiches. And I'd always be like, what is that? Like, what are you eating? And she'd be like, cream cheese. And I'd always be like, mm. But I actually think it's incredible. Oh, it smells good. 20, 40, 60. Okay, that's about right. Um, and 40 grams of Biscoff spread. Oh my, my, that is a lot. How many's in this? 400. Okay, that's not actually a lot then, is it? 40 grams. Okay. Oh. I would just love to put that spoon in my mouth. Oh, I love Biscoff spread. If anyone's not had Biscoff spread, then you're really missing out. They do do a crunchy one, but I don't prefer it. I've got to be honest, I like the smooth. Um, okay, so... Mix together. Oh, I'm going to need a bowl. Is it going to be like a little sweet treat? Like, is it going to be like a little Biscoff bites? Like, I don't know. All right, okay, mix this all together. How am I going to mix this? This is going to take me a while. And then it says, scoop out a tablespoon of mix and roll into a ball. Repeat this until you have many balls. How is this going to combine? Look what I've got here. How am I going to roll those into balls? It's biscuits. I'm really going to have to break down this cream cheese and this spread. Have I done it right? Maybe I need to get my hands in there and kind of separate them. What do you think? 
Oh my god, this is gonna take me forever. Okie dokie. I have lined my baking trays. The oven is preheated. Now we're gonna start on the biscuits. So 200 grams of butter. Again, I don't have a scale, so this is 500 grams. So half is 250, right? So we're just gonna do a little less in it. That works out well. Oh yeah, do you like my bowl? It's like a proper baking bowl. And then 50 grams of icing sugar. Now, how am I gonna measure that, hey? I will figure it out. So I'm gonna put the sugar in here and add vanilla until this is light and fluffy, then stir in the flour. And I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited. It's not a very nice day today. It's actually really cloudy. I am beating and it's looking nice and fluffy. This is the consistency we're working with. Fluffy and light. Okay, now vanilla extract and flour. Lewis has gone to the shop. I gave him a nice little list because I've been loving, well I had the best dinner last night. It was a poke bowl. So I did teriyaki prawns and uh, cucumber, sweet corn, rice, and then I had this like slaw, this like cabbage slaw, which sounds disgusting, and I thought it was gonna be disgusting, but it was amazing. I ate the whole tub of the slaw in it. It was absolutely incred. What else did I, and then, oh, this is, okay, this is already amazing. I've got this vegan mayo, I'll show you later. It's um, vegan A's, and it's in garlic, it's a garlic flavor like a spoon of that in it and then mixed it all together it was like creamy rice and prawn and that it was so, so i'm craving that because it was so fresh it just felt so light and fresh with all the like freshness so i need more prawns to make that and i've run out of cauliflower mash browns so hopefully the shop has those okay this is looking good how much um vanilla two teaspoons that looks about right to me. This is really therapeutic. This bracelet getting a bit in my way. Getting a bit in my way when I'm beating. It's all right. Oh, this, I think, look, I'm really gonna try and do like the best job here and like make like really good Viennese wheels. Now, when I've bought Viennese wheels before, they're like, they're like almost piped on. So maybe I could do some sort of piping situation with the biscuit. Maybe with a plastic bag, because I don't actually have a piping bag. But maybe if I got a little plastic bag and then cut a hole in it and then I could, because I want them to be like, anyway, maybe that's just getting things a bit too complicated. Fiona helped me mash up the mixture. <laughs> it's become a bit, lot more solid now really, hasn't it? Yeah. It feels like it needs more cream cheese, but I did yeah. measure it appropriately. Should I just say... see if they? I've washed my hands, so I just see yeah. if I'll just see if it combines. See, it's not. What did it say to use? How much? Sixty grams, I think. It's not really combining. Yeah, it is. Look, that it is. is. Yeah. yeah, is that probably the right size? Yeah. Bloop. Okay, right. God, got to do gonna... all of these. Melt and then we need to melt that. Yeah, so mum's gonna melt by the name of the stove. And then I think we pour the chocolate on the balls, did it say? Then we refrigerate them. So I think they're gonna be like little Biscoff bites, which just sound incredible and so unique. I've never heard of that before. Isn't she such a creative genius with her little recipes? Right, so we need to divide it by five, okay? Yeah, wow, the that was quick maths. Fiona's quite good at maths actually, aren't you? Fiona's good at her numbers. Like, well, when I was doing my GCSEs with maths, because I was never- It wasn't a difficult <laughs> task. Maths was never my strong point in school. I really struggled with maths. I don't know why. It took me three, how many times did I do it? Twice. Twice. You got a B, GCSE. Yeah, but I only got a B because I complained. I'll tell you a quick so, story. No, so I did. Just listen to this story, right? So the first time I did it, I got a C. And I was like, okay, well, I did it in year 10, I got awesome. a C. I love white chocolate. So Have you told the people where it's from? Free from. Mm, very nice. Oh, I wonder if she got it on her vegan kind order. Mm. It does taste like chocolate. Mm. Oh, it does. 
So I did math GCSE in year 10, I got C. So I redid it in year 11 and then I got a B. But basically, at the start of my exam, after the exam had started, I was like, fuck, I don't have a ruler. And I just totally forgot to bring a ruler into my maths exam. And the first question was like, draw this straight line or whatever. Four centimetres. And I was like, fuck, like, I forgot a ruler. So I put my hand up to one of the invigilators. I was like, hi, like, I forgot a ruler. Can I borrow a ruler? And she was like, no, unfortunately, we don't actually give out rulers. And I was thinking, huh? First of all, it was a calculator exam and they'd given out calculators. I was like, hang on, how can you give out calculators to people who forgot a calculator for a calculator exam and you're not going to give me a ruler? I couldn't believe it. That's not good, is it? She didn't give me a ruler. But it is the rules and you are told to take everything into the exam. Yeah, but in means. another maths exam, she'd given rulers. It out of your blazer, wasn't it? Yeah, it yeah, wasn't in my blazer. And I was like, hang on, like I've seen people get rulers before, but obviously in the exam, I was like, okay, like I won't have a ruler then. But then obviously this first question, I was like, but I, I can do the first question, like, I just need a ruler. So I was trying to use my bus pass, but it wasn't really working. And then basically I complained afterwards saying she wouldn't give me a ruler. And then I basically got the B. But I was literally one mark into the B. So I think I literally just made it because I complained. And one of my best friends at the time, her mum was the head exam coordinator. So luckily it was all good and I got the B. Oh my God, the water's exploding. Fuck. Ah! Um, why did she leave? I fold it in the flu and I'm giving it a fold. Sophia says it should be tacky, so I shouldn't panic if it's not like so it's not we're not actually making a dough here, alright? But I need to do two teaspoons of corn flour. Okay. Okie dokie, we're in. Corn flour is... One. Two. Very nice. Looking really great. Really, really great. I feel like Lydia. Lydia's such a baking queen. Hi guys, so today we're going to be making walnut cake. Walnut cake is nice. I actually really want some. She made some cookies for Lewis, so she's gonna drop those off today. So we can, Lewis can do a taste test of those and we can see if her baking is actually up to par and, and if it's just an act. It could just all be an act, I don't know. Right, I think this is looking good. It's looking tacky. It's not too, I mean, is that too wet? No, I did eyeball the flour though. So maybe we'll just do a little bit more, just in case, just to, just to touch. Because I know, because it looks still a bit like buttercream kind of. I'm very excited for these. You know what I've actually been craving? Like just like putting jam on toast. So now I've got some jam in the house. Let's smell this, I'm not jam in so long. Oh, I forgot how good jam was. Wow, yum. I used to have jam, pitta, every day for lunch at sixth form. It was like, I don't know, I was so addicted to it, just putting jam in a toasted pitta and I would just eat those, I think for like six months I had those every day for lunch. So that's really just taken me back. Right, I think we are good on, oh, baking powder, oh my God. And half a teaspoon of baking powder, shit. That would have been detrimental, I think. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna stir this, then we're gonna pop these on the trays. Okay, here are the balls. They're a bit crumbly. They're not that um Yeah, but they're gonna go in firm. the fridge. To, that's what happens when you put the them in the The more you press them, the more they seem to be crumbling, so. And then we have the mixture. This is white chocolate and biscoff. Pretty runny. So I think we just pour it on and then let it set in the fridge for an hour. Wow, that looks good. Just say you're supposed to scr scr um, sprinkle some biscuits on top, but we use them all for the ball. Oh. We should have left a couple. I've also nearly ate this whole... Whoops. 
Um, okay, so, right, we're gonna pop these in the fridge. This one has disintegrated slightly. Um, they're very fragile, but they look good, I think. This one's pretty well coated. I think when they are hard, they'll be... Yeah, I'm eating. Right, in the fridge, these bad boys go, that did not take long at all. A nice, easy bake, Chintzia, thank you very much. Okay, here are my little blobs. I did them really spaced apart, because I'm aware that they are going to expand, and I didn't want any, you know, merging situation, but I did just blob them on. Because, I mean, Sophia just said, I think she just said spoon them on, so that's what I did. I tried to make them as equal as pos. I have a little bit more left, so I've got a little baking tray that I'm gonna just put the rest on, but I'm gonna pop these in in a sec, and they only go in for, oop, for 10 to 12 minutes. So while they're baking, I'll make the icing and stuff. Woo! Okay, buttercream is ready. I gave her a taste, and she is absolutely delicious. So these only have two minutes left, then I'm gonna have to wait till they're fully cooled before I put them with the icing and the jam. They smell really good. I, I don't wanna jinx it, but I think they're gonna taste amazing. I have um, just some more here to put in after just cause I don't wanna waste the batter. Um, and yay. Time to try, it's been an hour. Looking pretty solid. Um, we're about to make some poke bowls. Oh, it's crumbled off a bit. Okay, let's try. I think this is gonna be so rich. Mmm. Nice. Oh, it's good. What's well, not to like though, let's take it. God, but do you know what? I don't think you can eat more than one. Mmm. Mmm, mm, yeah, good. It's a bit rich, my god. I'm gonna call Chint so she can see the final product. So let's see if she <laughs> I'm gonna just have them on the thing. Let's see if she picks up. It's connecting. <laughs> wow! Okay. Did I do them wrong? Oh gosh. Right. Wait, they're really good. What did I do wrong? Just, do they taste good? Yeah, what, what did I do? Truffles. Oh, they like tiny. Them. Wait, show me them. They look a bit How ugly. Big are they? they are, well look, this one looks like... Do they taste really good? Size. Because, look, let me send you... I got the recipe from a TikTok, I think so I let me send it a bit. TikTok and you can see how they're meant to look. Oh god. I mean they that taste is... really good. I knew they'd taste really good. They're rich, they, uh, I can't have more than one. Oh really? Yeah, but they're really but they good. Very, but they were simple to make, right? Very, yeah. Oh, were they supposed to be like tiny then? Well, they're like, well look, I'm sending you this now. Fuck, I they're thought I did well. Ruffles. Truffles, right. And like, maybe I should have, but the whole idea was you weren't meant to know, wasn't it? Mm. I think because the, I think it needed more cream cheese in with oh, the biscuits. Because really? as I was mixing the biscuits in with the cream cheese and the biscoff, it was so dry. And they weren't like clumping together. Oh, sorry, the wrong way around. You, they weren't great, clumping great. together, so maybe I needed more mixture as opposed to be like yeah. truffles. Because these are like biscuits. Watch the, watch the bit. Okay, I will. When are you going to make yours? I'm going to do them in about half an hour. I thought it was cheesecake I I originally. What oh, what I'm do you not, think it is? No, don't say. Not, I've not read the recipe, but based off the ingredients, I think it's jam tarts. Oh, no, that's incorrect. Oh, okay. I, I, thought you would, I thought you would think it's a Victoria sponge or something, but it's not. I don't think you'll guess what it is. You like it then. Yes, you like it. I thought there was going to be cornflake tarts, but there was no cornflakes. No, so. our oh, cornflake tart would have been a good one. And then I thought jam tarts. It's not jam tarts. Oh, so I don't know now. Yeah. I thought this was cheesecake. I was, until you said roll into I, balls, I was like, oh my God. I knew you thought it was cheesecake. Yeah, I really did. Watch the TikTok right this second. Yeah, okay, I'll go and watch that. Okay, so apparently we fucked up and we didn't do it right. Let's see what it was supposed to be. Oh, wow. Okay, look what it's supposed to be. Right, let's watch this, guys. Can't see it. 
Much Today care. we're going to be making lotus oh. biscuit truffles with just oh. four ingredients. First up, you need 100 grams of lotus biscuits. Brush these up with oh, a bag of rolling right. pin, then pour them yeah, into a that. bowl. Add 60 wrong? grams of cream cheese and 40 grams of biscoff spread. Yeah, mix these that. together until fully combined. Did Scoop that. up about a tablespoon of the mix and roll it into a ball. Uh. Now you need 120 grams of white chocolate and 50 grams of lotus spread. Melt these in the microwave, then uh. cut them into the uh. chocolate and make sure they're fully covered. Sprinkle them with some lotus crumbs to finish them off uh. and pop them in the fridge for about an hour. And we're done. Enjoy! Ah, uh, so right. Just needed to say, use a tablespoon. Ours are definitely a <laughs> larger bowl. We did. Yeah. About. I think what we did wrong is maybe I didn't crush these up enough because yeah. they're a bit they're a bit chunky. You see how there's like they're not a smooth ball, and obviously we didn't coat them enough. That's what I'm making? Incorrect. Guess again. Incorrect. Guess again. Incorrect. Viennese whirls. I can't hear you. Viennese whirls. Why are you making them? You copied me. What did you make Viennese whirls? That was a bit rude. No, uh, I said that you were ringing me on your phone. Oh, oh, that's my timer for my biscuits. Yeah, no, this what's it's Sophia's recipe. It's Sophia's the swap. Mm. What are you eating? What's that? <gasps> Perky, yeah? Oh, I want to make one. Right, let's take my biscuits out and see. Hey guys, they're a bit thin, but these ones are actually beautiful here. Th this one is like perfect. Um, but yeah, they're, they're thinner than I thought they were going to be. So they're just going to be, because when I think of Viennese wheels, I think of like a thicker short bread. So maybe it was just my measurements, like, because I don't have the scales, do I? But. Yeah, did you not measure that? No, I don't have a scale, Lydia, do I? So I eyeball 200 grams of sugar, of flour. Oh my God, no, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> they look fine, yeah? And they're gonna taste delicious. I've got my buttercream ready, and yeah, I'm excited. But look, it tastes is all that matters. They don't have to be beautiful, do they? Here is our pile of biscuits. They are cooling. These ones, the second batch was good because they only needed um, eight minutes in the oven. So this one is a bit crispy, but these ones up top are pretty nice color, like this one and this. Very thin, but absolutely fine. I tasted one and they were delish. So I'm gonna wait till they're fully cool so that the buttercream doesn't melt everywhere. Okie dokie, they are cool and they are ready for some I, they didn't take long to cool at all because they're very thin and crispy so i'm gonna try and pair them up and like pair the best like these two <gasps> these are like my star children they're absolutely perfect they're not too brown so we're gonna pair you two up right this is like a beautiful one as well and this one's beautiful as well oh my god it's like it's meant to be i don't know why they're not all the same size um let's find the pretty ones these two go pretty well this is a small one. Oh, 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 oh this one's kind of oh. those two they go well, okay all right we'll do you two that's a beautiful one look at the color on that wow i think we'll give you to you you're not perfect but you will do i'm thinking the brown ones i might just not because like that's very very crispy actually so maybe we'll just do these two big ones because that's a beautiful one. So then we've got, we're gonna have six. And then if they taste like exceptionally incredible, then I will assemble the rest. I've got my herrings, beautiful. I wish you could see, I'm sorry. Um, but I've got, just got a little spoon. Actually, maybe I should do, do I do the, the buttercream? What's Sophia said? Oh, okay, very clever. So you do butter on this one, butter, buttercream, jam, and then sandwich. Okay, that makes so much sense. All right, let's do our first one. Which one, okay, this one looks pretty. Okay, so buttercream, how much do you think? Like enough, because you know, you've got to, <gasps> yum. Okay, ASMR, baking ASMR. Let's make this as nice as possible. Gorgeous, look at you. I just wanna lick it, but that's so unhygienic. Jam, 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 jam. 
Is it bad if I go in with the same spoon? No, it's not bad. We're baking here. <gasps> Yum, the jam is making this. Oops, I'm getting jam everywhere. I'm being pretty generous with the jam because the jam, I don't know, I feel like it's a real key ingredient. It's like we're marrying. <gasps> wow. Gorgeous, look at you, very weighty, very weighty. Okay, I'm gonna assemble all these and we'll do a taste test and we'll FaceTime Soph. It's lunchtime. We are having poke bowls, our new favorites. Okay, so these piesta resistance, crispy onions. We got these from M&S and they were hiding at the very back of the shelf. Yeah, I like to. Find. These are my favorite parts, so I like to have quite a lot of those on. Teriyaki sauce. So what have we got? We've got rice. We don't have sushi rice. We've just used normal rice, but I think that's fine. It does taste the best with like sushi rice, sticky rice, but yeah. it's still good with normal rice. It's still like the flavors, you know? They're about and 75 then, grams each of rice. 75 grams each. And then we've got a bit of avocado. We've got cucumber. We've got prawns. Mum's got tomato, crispy onions. And then I like to put teriyaki sauce on it and a bit of mayo. And that, folks, is all we do it is good got my hands like shaking it is good to put seaweed on it but we're struggling to like source that in um the supermarket you know like the kaizo seaweed that you get at yo sushi that just really tops it off nicely i'm trying to think what else you we've had spring onion on it before yeah that was i'm nice. trying to think what else like when i've been to like fresh. for us uh, when i've oh do you know where we had the best we've sushi? got the sweet corn oh sweet corn that's sweet another corn good thing it. to put in it no don't worry about it. that's another good thing to put in it it looks kind of strange, but it's so good. I really recommend you guys to make these. It's really good. The crispy onions make it for me, I'm going to be honest. It's not uh, the same without them. Okie dokie, here are my weenies, weenies, babies. Let me give you a close-up of that. So stunning. I'm actually really excited. I think I was very generous. This one's a monster. This one looks really good to me. Actually, no, this one's the best. <gasps> Look at you. Right, let's taste. I'm about to go and work out. God, it's been... It's been a while. It's honestly been over two weeks. I've got this sports bra on, which is from Saski. I actually love their sports stuff. And then these shorts are just from Adidas. I think I got these actually on ASOS, but I did get them, like, literally last year. So... I'm not sure if they'll still be on them, but I actually know they do these in like um, orange, they do them in like lemon, they have some really nice colours. And then I'm just going to pop this t-shirt on which Chintz gave me in the gift swap, which I believe she got from ASOS. And then I'm going to go and do some exercise. Mm, but yeah, now I'm actually going to go and work out at my brother's house because he basically has all the gym equipment in the world, social distance obviously. I don't have to go in his house, I just walk around the side. But yeah, he literally has like barbells he has all the weights he has dumbbells he literally has everything in his garden so i'm gonna go and i'm gonna take advantage of that the moment of truth it's all about the taste cheers we we, we why do i keep wanting to go we and these okay this is gonna be so messy oh my god okay wait wow okay it's already easing already easing maybe i was a bit too generous with the filling. Mm. I love jam. I love jam. Mm. It's actually just so good. Tastes like a jam sandwich. Wow. Okay. Absolutely delish. Now, the biscuits definitely have to be thicker and less crispy, but other than that, I think I did a pretty good job. Oh my god, they're rich. They are so rich and thick, like I need to drink. I'm very good on the vegan. 10 out of 10, honestly, let's call safe. Gosh. That, and it didn't even take too long. Like, that was maybe like half an hour of my time. All right. Where is she? Wow. 
What could you possibly be doing that's more important than this call? Wow. We know where her priorities lie. We'll try her again soon. Whew, that was good. It's been a while. What, okay, what did I do? I'll tell you guys. It was upper body. My brother wrote me a little wrote me a little program. So we did um shoulder presses. I think we did five sets of ten with like the big, you know, bar. And then we did um Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> I forgot what was written down. Press up. I've been sat in the garden for like half an hour <laughs> winding down. I forgot actually what we did. We were doing like um, press ups and like kind of rows and then we had these bands. We had the whole thing. It was a good, it was a good session. Um, okay, so now it's honestly, the day's kind of gone. I don't actually know where the day's gone. It's now four. Um, so probably going to go home. Well, yeah, I'm going to go home now, have a shower, get cleaned up and then... Um, we start making dinner you guys know i like to eat dinner early i, I eat dinner at like five o'clock so dinner's like an hour for me and then it's time to wind down and just go to sleep okay Soph's here she's not Hi, seen them yet she was a bit disappointed that i found out before i started that it was a v and e's world i shouldn't have wrote i was when i was literally writing i was like do i write it on oh, this oh. number keeps calling me you need to google the number and you'll find out like, it is. it's been like four times they've not left a voice block, block the number block the yeah. number um damn yeah, because i was i was just to know what it is yeah well, yeah. I was innocently reading the instructions, the method, just so I could prepare myself. I was just reading right. the steps. See, and when then, I did yours, yeah. I, was like, I was like stopping myself from reading further. Oh, because you I thought like, no. I'd... Yeah. Uh, we had different methods. Anyway, right. So, I made the biscuits. Okay, I'll just show you. Yeah, how did it go? It actually, like, they taste really oh, good. Oh, God, they look a bit burnt, but... Wow. Well, the thing is, it said 10 minutes. Yeah, nice. And I literally did 10 minutes on the dot, and I was like, it needed less. And then I did a second batch, because I had some left over, and I, they only needed eight minutes to be like light, because one batch was like really, really brown. But they met, they were, they're so thin. They got so thin. Yeah, they so, should be like. I know, because they're not like biscuits. shortbready. Yeah. But they, they, they taste delicious. Okay, that's good. Look, they're really just like thinner. A oh, very unique. I wasn't expecting it because I was I going... I didn't think you would guess. No, because so... I was going Jam into it thinking it was jam tarts. Yeah, I know you did. Yeah. And then I was like, oh. I thought the jam would throw you off. I thought you'd be like, what the fuck is jam? Very much. And the cornflour. Yeah, yeah. The cornflour, yeah. Because that's, that's like yeah. what we're making here. Yeah. You know? Uh, or... I really like the balls, you know. I've got to kind of make like three. I knew but you'd I like want to them. remake them proper because now I know yes. what I'm naming for. I know what I need to Thing do. is, I wrote on the instructions just what she said. Yeah. And I, but you know, when you're not visually seeing it, I know. you don't realise how they're supposed to look. Yeah. So I did think do that because. Like, a little picture that I drew for you. Yes, of how to spread them out. Right. Yeah, because they didn't merge. Just got an Amazon parcel in and I did an order of like um, picnic y thingy. The like picnicy things because I wanted to go on a picnic and like have a cute aesthetic, like fieldy picnic. And look, okay, so I got these baskets. I wasn't aware they were going to be so small, but they're still really cute. This one for the picnic, just like in the fields, and then this little mini one. Okay, and then I ordered a bunch of fake flowers. These are the only ones that have come yet because. I don't have a florist near me and the only place I can get flowers is like Tesco and sometimes I've only got ugly ones. But how cute are these? They look really like not too fake apart from the stems. But like if you just saw that you'd think wow what a perfect flower. So look at these. In the basket. Absolutely perfect. How gorgeous with my dress. So I was really chuffed and the baskets were only like six pounds and the flowers were cheap as well. So Amazon, I really love you, thank you. My ASOS parcel arrived. 
Yay! I'll show you guys what I got. Oh, first, I'll show you. My own's a bit messy right now. I got these bits from Monkey. Um, I have not shopped on Monkey in honestly years, like literally years. I went on there last week and I was like, oh my god, there was so much just cute stuff. So I'll show you just a bit of what I got. I got this, which I just love so much. I still got the tag on it. Um, this vest top. I just thought it was so like just really pretty i loved the print it's so soft i got this one in a size medium um because i think it was sold out of small because i got another one in the small but i just thought they were so pretty like so nice for summer just for like lounging or just like with like some comfy shorts i just love this print i want matching like cycling shorts like matching leggings in this print i think that would be so cute with like some white socks then i got the same i put this on instagram so if you might have seen them already but i got the same in the yellow with like the pink flowers this one i got in a size small there's not much in it but that was so again cute and then i got the matching shorts to the yellow how pretty are they how nice of a set is that with like either just lounging or i'm not actually sure if this is pajamas or not i mean i've been wearing it out the house but I would just love to wear these like with some flip flops or equally like some just some trainers or just around the house. I just thought they were so pretty, especially with the matching. I just love the print. So I got those from Monkey. Then I also just got um, some like cute underwear bits. Like I got this bra that I had on earlier with like matching briefs. And I got, um, it's a lot of it's on Instagram, like a green bra with the pink with white polka dots. And then I got these cute like brief pants. Honestly, if you're looking for like some loungewear or just like some cute underwear, honestly, Monkey is the place to be. <gasps> and then last night I went on ASOS. Oh my God, it actually came so quick. <sighs> oh, I've got some really good stuff, guys. I only got four things. I've been good. Oh my God, this is gonna be, oh my God. Okay, so I actually got some bikini bottoms, which was just so, I knew like I literally don't need these, but. I just saw the print and I was like, I just fell in love with the print. I was like, I need that. I don't know what I'm, I didn't even get the matching top. Did I get the matching top? No, I didn't. Cause the top looked not that nice. It's like, oh, that's not the kind of style of top that I like. So I honestly don't know why I just got these, but I just thought they were so nice. I think they're actually from River Island, you know, and I've never shopped in River Island ever, but. Get that red tag. How nice are they? I just saw these and thought, yeah, they're a bit of me. They remind me of like almost like some swimwear that like my mum would have worn, like a bit vintage, like a bit. I just love the colours. I love the print. I just thought they were, I love the high leg. I just thought they were gorgeous. Unfortunately, yeah, the top wasn't like what I wanted. It was a bit like, I don't know. I just like the simple bikini tops that just like tie. And it was just a bit, I wasn't too keen on it, but I love these i don't know where i'm gonna wear these i don't know where but it's supposed to be 28 degrees this week so i feel like maybe i could wear this in the garden with just a white bikini top maybe and then oh this is pretty i'm not sure about this i'm not sure what the material is going to be like i got this midi skirt because i love a midi skirt i really do and i saw this one and i just thought oh my god i just want to be lying in a field on a bed of just daisies in just this print this reminded me of chintzia also like that italy just you know oh, just that print i just thought it was really pretty i'm gonna have to see how this actually fits because i like the satin midi skirts but just i don't want it to look like grandma -y. so i'll try that one on and see about that but i thought chunky trainer a little white top some flowers in the arm blue skies I just thought it would look really nice. So I'll try that on and see about that. What size did I get that one in? A small. So we'll see about that. And then I got this, which I thought was really cool. So it is, I wish I had this for when we went to LA, like at the start of the year. It's this pink um, scarf, but it's a top. So I guess you could wear it like on your head if you wanted to, but the model's wearing it as, just kind of fold it diagonally. And then she's wearing it as like a top. 
like that obviously not the jumper underneath then just tie it and i just thought oh, how cool is that i thought with some blue jeans and just like tan gold jewelry just like from the back like I just thought that was so cute but equally I thought nice double up as like not really a picnic blanket but like something just to sit on in a field you know if we go for, go for a picnic I'm really in the mood for a picnic at the moment look or equally if you wanted to you could wear it is it too big to be worn on the head I think it probably is isn't it it's pretty fucking huge yeah that's definitely going to be too big yeah what was I thinking yeah yeah, that's definitely too big. But I just like the print as well. I like pink and red. I think it's a nice combo. Um, and it's, oh my God, it's got little hearts in it as well. So I love that. What's that? That was just one size. And it's by ZYA. Oh, ZYA the label. Okay, I'm going to see what else they've got actually because I really like that. Oh, and then I got this. Oh my God, I have another thing. <gasps> God, I got that. Okay, I got this, which I believe is from... Okay, this is called Wednesday's Girl. All from ASOS, but you know how ASOS have different brands. <gasps> I thought this was really pretty. That is pretty, isn't it? It's a cropped blue shirt that has a little tie and like the little puff sleeves. I just thought like, again, you know, picnic vibes and just lying on the grass, like with the sunglasses on. And I just thought it was pretty, you know, biscuit, biscuit picnic basket in arm i just shouldn't put something on a story like the sound of music is just the vibe right now and i said you know what hun you just couldn't be more right there so love that and then i just got this um which i thought i just love the color of this to be honest oh my god it's gorgeous oh that is so nice just a blue cami I just thought it was really cute. I love turquoise. I've always loved this colour. My room used to be this colour. I've always loved this colour. I just thought it was pretty. I mean, you could wear this to sleep if you really wanted to. I thought maybe... I don't actually know what I'm going to wear this. Maybe just jeans. I like these spaghetti straps. I love the lace. I just thought it was cute. I didn't think too much about it, to be honest. But oh, I just love that colour of turquoise. I feel like that colour would look really good on my mum as well. I think that's just a nice colour for blondes and brunettes to be fair. But yeah, that was all I got. And I got some other bits from Monkey, but yeah, they were just like um, cute underwear, cute underwear bits. Um, but yeah, I'm, ha I'm gonna try this skirt on because I'm not sure how that's actually gonna sit. But um, yeah, wow, well, I'm very happy with that. I can't wait to wear those things. Fiona's on the phone if you can hear that background noise. Um, okay, yeah, so what I'm going to do now... Oh, I forgot to put, take my burgers out of the freezer. You know how I was going to have burgers tonight? Mum just said to me, did you take them out of the freezer? And I was like, no. And she was like, I'm not having burgers then, are you? And I was like, oh. But now I think I'm just going to catch up with a couple of my friends. Just do the daily FaceTime of just, you know, those people check in and then i'm gonna oh i haven't played my games in it's play animal crossing today and then i will like i said watch some desperate housewives i'm excited to do that i've had a really nice day today actually it's been really nice and chilled not really my phone i've been trying to use my phone a lot less like i've literally been switching my phone off most days at whatever point of the day it doesn't really make a difference but for like a good two hours i just turn it off and i honestly love it it's like a new routine that i've been into and i just think it's so nice forgot one thing i also got these oh, forgot about these okay i got these pants has anyone seen this brand les girls les boys i think it's les girls les boys um i've been seeing everyone on instagram wearing these pants and this these like bras and i've been like oh my god I really like that. And I didn't really know. I thought they were just a separate brand with it on ASOS last night. I was like, oh my God, there they are. So I got the pants. I didn't get the bra because the bra was like 40 quid. I was like, are you taking the piss? Like 40 quid? I don't think so. But I got the pants. So they've got like this kind of like netting in. They're very like Calvin Klein-esque. Um, how much were these? I think my whole order came to maybe 100 a hundred so divide that up between these pieces i think these were maybe honestly i don't know i'm not very good remembering figures i thought they were 
really cute. I thought with a hoodie, you know, some cute slippers. Thought it was quite a cute vibe. Um, but yeah, I like these. I kind of wish I got the bra, but it was just too expensive. I was like, no, sorry, I'm not spending that on a bra. Um, but yeah, that's another thing that I got. I actually really like this brand. I want to see what else they do but that brand's on asos if any of you are wondering because i had no idea and i just found it last night i was like oh my god it's on asos um but yeah that completes the that completes the haul tesco lewis found the galaxy vegan milk chocolate and i've never tried it before why did oh i put it in here and anyway, so sophia's had it um lewis eats a lot of dairy what's your favorite vegan chocolate uh, the, the vegalino Fish. triples they're delicious. They're so, okay, this is it. Um, caramel and sea salt, Galaxy Vegan. You also need to try Viennese Will, so which one would you like? They're a bit crispy. Yeah, they don't look. They yeah. taste nice, they're very rich. They, they do ooze out, so just. Different. They're nice. They're nice. They're nice, aren't they? They're all right. It's like, it's just the biscuit part that's a bit wrong. Okay. It's three pounds. Expensive. Oh, it's okay. It's thinner than I thought it was going to be. Very thin, actually. Look how thin that is. Oops. Okay. And the cubes are, hmm. Here you go. Cheers. Oh, sorry. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes a bit like um, hazelnut. It doesn't taste like um, Red galaxy. Oil. No. It tastes a bit like Nutella. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Mm. I have these. Oh, I tried these um, deliciously Ella brownies. They're like frozen. And you put them in. I've eaten them now. I otherwise I would show you. And you put them in the microwave for like 40 seconds. They're like melty, gooey, put it, like chocolate brownies. And they were delicious. I found them at like a weird Tesco I never usually go to. This is amazing. It does taste like Nutella. I'm gonna add this to my ice cream bowls later. What time is it? Is it poker time? Oh, oh it's five. Maybe we'll wait an hour after dinner. Big things are happening on my island today. I got this little clothing rack, which I thought was super cute. I'm at the beach. And look what has just been built today. There's my money tree that I was telling you guys in the last video. Where is it? Dun, dun, dun. The Able Sisters have their shop. Let's go in. I haven't been in here before. I've been waiting for this shop. This is so exciting. A new clove shop's opened up in my Animal Crossing town, Mum. Wow. The Able Sisters, here they are. What does it sell? Clothes? Clothes, yeah. <laughs> clove shop. Right, I'm going to enjoy this. And How much does that cost then, the clove shop? Mm. It is, I don't think I've had to pay for it, no. Mum's Mom, <laughs> eating the... Um, <laughs> The Biscoff things. I've just ate two. <laughs> uh. okay, it's dinner time. I'm making my poke bowl. I have my cucumber and my sweet corn ready to go. I've got my um, rice in there, and then look how tiny these little prawns are. Never seen anything like it. But they they were like already cooked, so I'm just reheating them in this teriyaki sauce, and then I'll drizzle that on the top as well. And then this is the um, vegan mayonnaise that I was telling you about. It's freaking amazing. So I'll put like a dollop of that in it and like mix it all in. And then I've got my crispy onions and sesame seeds. So yay. You know all that's missing. I wish I had that like kaizo seaweed because that just makes it oh, so delicious. Kaizo seaweed and nori flakes. They were my fave. Here she is. Rice under there. There's my vegan mayo. Crispy onions. Sesame seeds. Sweet corn. Honestly, my favourite dinner recently. We are just walking Bonnie. Um, I couldn't have my burgers that I wanted to show you because they weren't defrosted. But we'll save that for another vlog. Yeah. Because I can share that. It's basically just the Plant Kitchen vegan burgers. They're really good. And M&S do a burger sauce, which apparently tastes like Big Mac sauce. I've never had Big Mac sauce, but apparently that's what it tastes like. And they were so good in like a brioche bun. That's what I was going to make. Um, but yeah, my burgers are defrost, so I had to have something else. We're just walking Bonnie. We've got her ball, which glows in the dark, but the park was pretty busy with little children. So we didn't really let her off because she just doesn't leave kids alone. And some kids are scared of dogs, aren't they? So yeah. They scream and squeal and she just gets a bit excited. So we're just going for a normal walk instead. My pogi bowl was so nice. It was literally just perfect. And now it is about 
Okay, it's half eight and I was thinking we make some cookies. Even though we have Viennese Wells upstairs, I'm feeling chocolate cookies and I have a chocolate cookie kit and I'm just thinking they take 10 minutes. I'm thinking that would be perfect, a warm gooey cookie. And then I was thinking we could put the Galaxy chocolate chunks in it and that would just be, I've got a bit of fluff at the back of my throat. And it feels like I'm joking. <laughs> Okie dokie, it's cookie time. Lewis made um, some fried chicken for dinner. And we're gonna make this. So I actually got this in Tesco. I know you can get them on the vegan kind. And then I saw it in Tesco, I was like, oh, wow. Cause I've made the um, brownie one before, I think. And it's this. And also, the, I got the bit of fluff out. Lewis, this is the biggest piece of fluff at the float of back of my throat and I thought it was going to die. Shit. I didn't have any water. It's from this. Okay, so this is a baking mix with chocolate chips and chicory inulin. They're like healthy, but they actually taste pretty good. So, 50 grams of butter. This is turning into a cooking show today. Because I made, all I've done is made Sophia's cookies, made pokey bowls, and make cookies, other cookies which aren't in as well. Hmm. It's just so vegan. 35 grand of grams of water, it says, but we're going to use choco soy. It's the best. How do you know that's 35 grams? <laughs> <laughs> you just got to add all it, baby. That would definitely 50 grams. Milligrams. It's totally fine, man. Well, why don't you go and buy some scales? Yeah, if you're so concerned. And then 50 grams of butter. I just have to get this a bit chocolate. No, 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 you can't. Oh, is that your vegan butter? Yeah, it's my vegan butter. Right, so it's fine. Right. Okay, we'll see you when it's combined. It looks delicious, doesn't it, Lewis? Should we put um, the Galaxy Vegan Chocolate in it, yeah? Absolutely. Delicious. Okay, I added some big chocolate chunks. I added half of the Galaxy Bar. Can you see them? You can't really see them. Maybe I should have put them on the top, but it still smells delicious. It looks really chocolatey. Because we don't have parchment, I'm going to spray with a bit of spray oil. Then I'm going to grab the mixture and I'm going to start spooning on just like so. How big should we do them? Monsters? Bigger than that. Oh no, that's a blob of butter. I haven't really mixed that very well. Oh no, oh, no. it's all We're back in business. Lewis is using his manly hands to do this. What? Oh, the oh. big one. Why is it? I need to budge the foil back up. There we go. Well, that's a bit too big, I think. Just, 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 yeah, tablespoon size blobs, please. Oh, chopstick. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. Okay. Get more of that one? Yeah. You've not really laid them out well to be uniformed. Sorry, put one in there. Oh. oh shit. Just scoop it with one spoon and then you dollop it oh, off with. Oh my. Okay, so all we've got is four massive cookies then, at that whole thing. We probably could have had like. 16 tiny ones, but they're gonna be massive, man. Right, okay, we're going in for 12 minutes and we'll see you soon. Oh my gosh, okay, the the brownies are done. I picked one to have and they are, oh, it's still literally boiling, but do you see how big this is? It's literally weighty and chunky. She's still moist and she smells delish. So, oh, it's like, it's more like a cake. It smells like a, it's just like a big brownie, really. It's so yummy. Oh my god, yeah. Oh my god. Perfect little treat. Thank you. The cookie was delicious, by the way, but Lewis said it was dry. But I thought it was really good. And I ate it all, and the melty chocolate bits were amazing. Lewis is about to Theragun me now. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Say slave, please. please. Thank you. Like just in the shoulders, not on the, the no, not on the highest pressure. Not on the highest, please, man. On just medium, please, please. 
Just no, not on the neck, please, on please, it? please. There. Oh my god, that's good. You on the bum? No, I don't like it there. No. <laughs> Lewis likes it on the bum though. Okay, this side. Lewis likes it on the bum, mate. Oh, that is good shit. That. Ow! Hey, okay, we're back with a Theragun. No, that's the bone. I don't know where the muscle is. Why is there a good... No, Lewis. When it bounces, it hurts. That's it. Why is it good? I don't know. Ow. All right, so all right. Trying, Just do the then. other one. All right, so that... Ow. Say please. Please, so that we're evened out. Gee. It really hurts when you... No, Lewis. That's actually dangerous. Okie dokie, it's been a fantastic day. I am about, oh, I've just got my blanket wet. I'm going to take off my makeup. I've been enjoying using this Ren thing, clean jelly. It's very nice. And I'm still obsessed with my jewelry. I wish I could sleep in it. I hope it doesn't tarnish. This is actually gonna get all on that. Oh, my tan looks shit already, look because I didn't scrub it off properly, like before I put it on. You know, like the crevices, like the problem areas for me are here, like under here, and like my neck bits here, like in these crevices here. Um, so they're the bits where I struggle to get it off. Like my legs are fine. Does anyone have this? Like my legs always look like perfect. Like my legs never go like really patchy or anything, like they just fade off nice. I don't know why that is, but my belly and like my chest is just never works out. Never works out for me. Oh, also, also, I have been loving this YouTuber called Hiram and he is like a skincare specialist and he reacts to YouTubers um, skincare routines and the videos are so good. Like he's reacted to everyone like he had, like, what are the ones I watched? I had like a binge. He did like, um, Nikki Tutorials, um, to like all the, uh, Carly Bybel, um, and then he did celebrities like Jessica Alba, and, um, I can't think, but like everyone, whoever, any big YouTuber who's done a skincare routine, he's probably reviewed it, and he's just so good and actually informative, and I'm learning a lot. I should probably be more gentle here, um, but, I'm going to start wearing SPF on my face every day, but he's just so, he's so cute and he is really informative without like it being boring to learn the information about how you should take care of your skin. Right, and you know what Hiram says? He says you always have to double cleanse. He's like, one of his biggest things is like, she didn't double cleanse, like she only cleansed once, she didn't double cleanse. So we're going to double cleanse. And we're going to make sure we're washing our face as well. Feeling fresh. I think I'm going to hop into bed now and maybe give suits another go. I think I need to because I know it's good. It's good for a reason. There's nine seasons for a reason. I'm going to give it a, I'm going to give it one more episode. If I'm not hooked after that, then sorry, suits. You're just not for me. All right. Hello everybody, I am playing my game. I've now actually got pink flowers because fun fact for any Animal Crossing fans, if you plant the different color flowers next to each other, then they spawn and can create a new color. So I've now got pink flowers because I've had like orange and red ones next to each other. Um, so that's what I'm up to. And we are watching The Nest. We're in episode two. It's I don't really know where it's going. It's going somewhere bad, I think. Bad as in good, but like bad. It's about a surrogate, isn't it really? What, what's a brief summary of what we've watched? Um, a couple trying to have a baby and they end up choosing this surrogate, but she's like an 18 year old girl and the husband doesn't really want to choose her. I think she's got a bit of a bad record and he's a bit, the husband's a bit, uh, and so yeah. it's on BBC iPlayer. Yeah. There's only five episodes, so if you just want to smash it out, it's pretty good, but I'm going to end my vlog here because we're going to watch this. I'm going to go to bed. Um, so I just wanted to say thanks for watching and we will see you very soon. Bye. Cheers. Okay, now I'm watching Harry Styles' YouTube videos. This is my, I'm on my third. I'm making my way through because I realise I've never seen any of them. Apart from the one where he um, has the fish. Because I remember Sophia was like, why is 
Harry Styles music video is just about a fish. It was because it was about a girl, but it was about oh no, it was a, yeah, it was about him growing a giant fish. They're really good ones. Water, it's because Waterman and Sugar just came out. It was a really good um, music video. Very good. I'd like to just end this vlog and show you my new spot. Thanks for watching.